Good morning. It's Monday. Um, me and the kids and Leslie are going to go down to the plot and um, do a bit of work. Uh, I've got my list and everything sorted, so we're going to go down and get the list rattled off. Uh, lots to be done. I've just come in to hear the shed here this morning and I'll show you some uh, further bad news. <laughs> So I'm just clearing out what I need to take down to the allotment um, at the minute, just to uh, make some more space in here. Uh, I've got my giant onions, which are, you see, they're coming along absolutely fantastic there. Um, I've just turned them around so that they get sunlight in different ways. Um, so this is the bit that's been facing the back for a while. And I've done the same with this one here. Um, I've turned this one around and lo and behold, it's done, it's splitting, it's rotten from the bottom. So that's another pip down. It's a shame because it's still growing and it was starting to bulb and it looked like a better, better uh, giant onion as well. So I'm, instead of having 10, I'm down to nine. Um, I've got all of these ones here. Um, so I've got nine giant onions left. Um, hopefully we'll get all nine into the 30 litre pots. We'll see see how it goes anyways. But time to head down to the garden. So we're down at the garden now. I've already given the girls the first task. I'll show you what they're going to do. You up to? I said, what are you up to? Taking care of the strawberries. So the strawberry bed down here, you can see we've made a little bit of a start. You can see the greenery. This will look totally different when the girls are finished. They're getting rid of all the dead uh, leaves and all the dead plants um, and tidying it all up. For Elizabeth, strawberries, aren't you, darling? Yep. Right, what I've got here, I've got me Pete Edwards back on Carpe and they're ready to go into the final buckets, the final pots. Now we're using 10 litre rose, uh, 10 litre pan flower buckets uh, with some Humax in and we'll see how these get on um, as opposed to the other ones in the big yellow buckets as well. So we're gonna get these six put in. Don't look too bad to be honest. Right, that's them in. I'm gonna give them a good drink. I've got them right at the top. So, they'll stay in there until they're ready to be pulled. They'll not be staying in here, because I'll be putting them probably in the polytunnels, because they need to be in the back, um, along the back, of course, that's what I was gonna do with these. Um, so, these six are Peter Edwards' back garden veg plot. The Kelsey's from his third selected year. So, hopefully we'll see what comes of them uh, in these buckets. I'd had a good time last year, should get about 20, 21 inches, hopefully. Little Kyle's been in here, I'll show you what he's done and I'll show you what I've just quickly sorted as well. From last week, as I tell you, as, as I said, these have all got mixed germination rates. So what little Kyle's done is he's get, I've put some seeds in this pot here and he's been in, put two on each thing, each one, pushed them in and covered them over. So there's another set of germination on there. So when these get too big, I'll still have some more to pull up as well and I've got different... Uh, different stages of sown. Um, same with the broccoli, same with the snowball turnip, um, and that's them. Um, coming at the back here, I've brought the cabbage in the back of here. So that's a giant cabbage from my own saved seed. That's been brought in here, and so has the beetroot as well from the middle greenhouse. So, and I've just potted these two into three litre pots. So these, I'm not too sure if they're ready to be potted yet or not. Now they're ready to go. So I'll have to pot them later on in the week. Right, I've just in the middle of greenhouse here. Um, I've just brought the Peter uh, Holden onions in, the six that I've uh, I've had down at the garden for a while now. Um, and I'll get them potted up because they are ready to be potted up. I've just lifted one of these up before, and the roots are coming out the bottom. Um, not that one, but they are starting to show there. Uh, one of them is more progressed than the others. Um, so that's them doing right. I'm going to um, have a walk, give everything a water that needs a water. Uh, they need potting up as well when I get a chance to do so. Um, just marking off things at the minute. Well, what an absolutely beautiful sight that is there. Eh? See the bees there and the, uh, pollinating me apples there. Eh? Thank you very much, bees. Speaking of beautiful sights, look at these. Oh, hello, Leslie. Hi. You having fun in there, darling? <laughs> I tell you what, you should have been in there like all the rest of the flowers. Never grew a purple one before. <laughs> <laughs> Still, uh, Leslie's done an absolutely fantastic job back here. Just clear out all the weeds down the back and down the sides and around here. Doing an absolutely belting job. I'll um, 
I'll turn you around and I'll show you what we've done because we'll be heading off shortly. We're in the top greenhouse here. I've actually been gifted some uh, lettuce from an allotment neighbour. So thank you very much for that, John. Scouts, John. Thank you very much. Um, I've got all of the Betty Blacks now on this side. That's what I've got left. And I've got all of the Mackenzies on this side. That's left as well. I've still got these three to put into five litre bucket, five litre pots. When I get some five litre pots, when I pot the other ones out, yeah, I'll put them in. These are going to be late, 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 late. Um, I'm giving everything a drink up here as well. The begonias are starting to come up, which is nice to see. And I've got plenty of sweet corn like I've seen you last week as well. Um, in the back here, I've brought some more the Peter Holden onions from home, which are well behind, which is my own fault. It's an experiment I was doing. Um, they will get a chance and everything else is getting a drink and everything else is a bit more organized in the back here i've got the cold robbie at the back in the tunnel here on the left side of course we've got the girls have brought all the cumbrians in so all the cumbrians are being brought into the tunnel to harden off for uh, when i put them in the ground of course we've got the the main ones in here the earlier ones and then got one just putting the pot in here one putting the pot in here and i've got another two to put in there so i'm going to put the two gsn at the back there then I'm going to have a full row of Cumbrians on this side when I get this section done here. And I've actually had a change of plan in here. So I've calculated how many leeks I've got, how many leeks I need to put in the ground and how many onions I've got as well. Um, I thought I had an absolute load, absolute ton, but um, with us uh, selling a couple and giving a few away, I need to keep an eye on what I do once again, what I sell and what I've got. Um, but I've worked it out. I've got enough leeks um, to plant 18 in here. 21 in that tunnel and then 10 in 30 litre buckets for the Yorkshire Giants but I've only got uh, I think I've got 8 or 9 so I'm going to be one short um, but I'll put another leak in there and anyways uh, so I'm going to have two rows of leaks in here I'm going to have the 21 leaks in there and in the backs here instead of having the onions because I've got enough onions just to fill the onion house um, without needing to put onions at the back anymore so that'll be a mission for next year that'll be a task for next year I'm going to put giant tomatoes on one side at the back and then I'm going to put on this side, I'm going to put giant cucumbers that I'm growing. So there'll be plenty of space in here for it to be able to do that. So that's a quick change of plan uh, in here and we'll see how it pays off this year. And if it works, then we'll continue doing it in the years to come as well. In here, I've got Elizabeth, I don't know where she's come from because they were all sitting in the car before. Um, I've just went over the top with the hoe and I've brought the soaker hose in because this is where the soaker hose is going to go. I've got the black my plastic in here as well because uh, I'll be getting prepped to get stuff put in here. Um, I've got the CSX growing in here at the minute. So these will be hard enough, ready to go in here. So the CSX and the Mackenzie leaks will be going uh, in here. There's 21 leaks all together. I can get in. So the, I think there's seven down there, seven down there. The, Three, two, three at the back, and five down here. I know the maths probably doesn't work out, but that's what the plan is, anyways. Bye, Elizabeth. Hi, hey, Elizabeth. So, what have you been doing here? Looks like you've been a very busy girl. Yeah. So, what have you been doing then? I've been. We used to all this, you know. There was like a lot of dead strawberries, so I've been pulling them out so the, so the strawberries can grow. So, these are, are these all the strawberries? Are they these all the ones that's all nice, are they? Oh, you can see which ones are what, can't you? You can see the ones that have, uh, they're coming back through now. Oh, I've got a bit there. So, I'll tell you what, that, what that'll do is, I'll come in here and I'll uh, and I'll sort out all the rest when I get a chance. But well, you've done a really good job there, lifting all of them up, because you've put all of it on the compost bin there as well. And I can see there's actually some strawberries being caught on the side there. So what I'll do is I'll lift them up and we can put them onto the next lot, which are down here. So, put them down here. So, I'll be able to sort all that out, but that's a cracking job done, Elizabeth. Thank you very much for your help. Well done. Yeah, and you'll have lots of strawberries to play with when you get when they come up, won't you? Play with? Well, you eat them. Eat. We'll eat them. Have you seen the size of the rhubarb? Let's go have a look at the rhubarb. Well, quickly. Elizabeth, look at this rhubarb. Mm. This is massive. This is the rhubarb that Daddy came third in last year at Harrogate. These are the sticks that we had. Let's move some back and let's have a look. How are they getting on? Uh, we, we took some rhubarb for rhubarb cumble, which Mum made yesterday, didn't we? Look at them, look at the size of them already. They're huge. They're humongous, look at that. Fantastic, them. Look at the ones over here. Aye, there's some little ones over there and stuff, isn't there? Mm -hmm. I think we need to start taking some of these off so that when it comes to show time, we can uh, take them for the show, if there is any shows. Right, that's 
that to sort of sort of for today. We're going to go home for something to eat. Um, thanks again for Leslie and the kids for their help today. Um, and I'll be back over the course of the week to get some more stuff sorted, and more stuff ready for a go. The prep work I put in now will make things easier for when I've got the time off. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday morning. I'm off today, and um, then um, work Thursday, Friday. Then the hard work begins. Um, it's live night tonight, so I shall see you all there. Hope we had a good time. <laughs> um, I'm just down the gone at the minute. I am currently checking out on the the heavy onions, uh, the quality onions. Sorry, as I did spot a couple of them had a couple of bits, have a couple of marks on them. It's just the outer leaves, so I'm just giving them all a good clean up at the minute. So I'll show you what they like once I finish cleaning them up. That's them ten tidied up. Um, I think I'm going to lose three of them. I don't know what possessed me or what happened. Um, I don't know why I've done it neither, but what happened is the soil, the compost, has ended up around the base of the onions to about here, sorry. Base of the onions about here, and they've been wrapped around. And what's happened is a couple of them, uh, this one here, um, this one here, and the one behind it, there was a bit of rot on the base across here so i've just taken the flags right back i've got a feeling i'm going to lose this one and um, so i might have to go and steal some of grandad's stock that i give him just so that i can fill up the rest of the onions uh, in here so i'm going to have a word with him now and give him the bad news for him <laughs> but yeah I, I don't know what possessed us i don't know if it was when i was watering from above or what but a good thing is as well i know i've just used this one as an example underneath The roots are starting to come up the bottom, which is a good sign. So they're ready to plant out, basically. When I say plant out, what I mean by that is put them on the top. That's them planted out. That's the plan. That's what I get done next week. So these will all have to wait. But it's nice to see that the roots are filling out in these uh, onion and uh, these buckets anyways. At least they know it's doing their job properly. And I do have some, uh, there's some nice ones there. So we'll see how they go anyways. So uh, cabbage as well for dinner so happy days hey everybody it's uh, thursday evening i've just finished work uh, i've been down the garden for about an hour and a half now just doing a bit of potting on thanks to everybody who came along to the live video yesterday uh once again it was a good chat and a good catch up uh, let me show you what i've managed to get potted up today and then uh, that'll be it for today before i do that let me show you my new toy that i've just received now this might look a little bit familiar <laughs> this is a blitz wolf um camera stand and selfie stick uh, it's a bluetooth uh, bluetooth remote as well um so i'm just going to get it pushed up there so obviously the phone goes into that section there it lifts up just like so so you can squeeze the phone in um, and it's got the little bluetooth remote but there so i can push that in obviously light flashes on connect to it by bluetooth fantastic yeah uh, i'll just see if i can get it out with one hand here you can also remove it there as well so that comes out of there quite easily and you can use that anywhere you want to go I've used this beforehand, but the stand section wasn't working. Um, so, like I say, I just bought a new one so that I could get it. Because, I, like I say, I like using it. Um, so, stand now works, which is great. But it's a cracking little. It's it's very versatile. Um, obviously, I broke it last time uh, with the little hinges there. That's my fault, my bad. But I did. I've enjoyed using this for the past year, so I bought a new one. So I've got um, this one to go off as well. So here's what I've managed to get sorted so far um, this evening. I've brought down those um, sweet uh, sweet corn from the top of the shelf there, so that because they were touching the, uh, the touching the glass at the top there. Um, what I've also done is I've popped up the pump in there and just popped a little uh, carton over the top of it, a little paint cup. So uh, that's been potted up. Uh, I've taken the um, sweet. The, the Joe's long chili out of there. I've still got some more in there at the minute from a second zone, and I've potted them up. So I've potted them up there. So I've got five Joe's long chili potted up there. And I've also got eight Brussels sprouts potted up there as well uh, this evening. So I've had a poor germination with peppers. Um, and I want to rethink the way in which I grow peppers in the future. Um, these are the only three that I've got. Two different varieties. Sweet pepper, uh, Dasty, and also Corno di Toro mixed. So I've got uh, three there. When I here, there is Roma tomatoes, which are coming along canny. So I'll get them potted up in due course as well. Now, last week I said about the kohlrabi. Now, actually, these are all the same plant. They are all kohlrabi. They're just growing a little bit different. Of course, that one there is growing a little bit different than what these ones are. But I've potted these ones up into two little pots. So um, we'll see what happens with them. 
the um, Peter Holden onions, I've potted up as well in a two litre pot. I just need to get some canes and everything sorted out so I can get these um, obviously caned up properly. But they're, like I say, very late, but they're coming on all right. I've got another six of these. I can't remember where I've put them though. I'll remember. So inside of the new polytunnel, um, I've just put the black sunflowers up the top there um, so they can get some heat and some sunshine. So that's uh, that's where they are. Everything else in here has had water this evening, which is exactly what I was after. So happy days. I'll see what's happening with that in a second. Just spotted something on that leak. Take it down here. Yeah, these are the six um, Peter Holands that I've had down the allotment. You can see they're a lot bigger, and I got them at the same time. I kept six down here, and I took six down to the uh, down home under the lights. They've actually performed better under natural daylight, which is quite a shock. But uh, like I say, a lesson learned with that. Uh, we'll see what comes of it next year as well. Not at least I've put the last of the four um, giant red cabbage from my own saved seed up, and they're in two litre pots as well. Um, I've got the, the bigger ones on this side in uh, two and three litre pots. Uh, I think these are two litre pots actually. So uh, seven inch pots basically. So oh, just hit you with the giant cabbage there. Um, so yeah, they're coming on all right. I'm pleased with the way they're turning out. Uh, they'll be getting ready to be potted out uh, in due course. The leaks in the back here as well are doing really good. Um, I've just been over and given everything a water in any case. But that's enough for me today. I'll catch you all um, possibly tomorrow evening, if not the weekend, and let the fun commence. Morning everybody, it's uh, Friday morning, last day of work for the foreseeable future, for 11 days hopefully. Um, I've just taken a look at the giant pip that I lost through the week and uh, I've made a few changes to it and I just wanted to check to see if it was rotten all the way through and at the base as well. Let me give you a spin around quickly and show you what I found. So I've got the onion here, it's a bit of a dry side which I'll give it a drink but when I've taken four flutes off, it's actually solid at the base and it's solid underneath as well on the inside so i know i put it outside for a couple of nights but it hasn't been that cold it's been seven degrees so it's fine um i'm going to put this and i'm going to leave this in the greenhouse here give it a drink and see if it grows it's still growing from the middle um but i've just supported it as well and like i say waste not want not i'm not one for wasting i've spent a lot of time and effort growing this if i can get it out fantastic so we might not have lost one might not have lost it yet but We'll keep on persevering, persevering and see if I can get it out. Uh, if I do anything else today, it'll probably be at home. Um, if not, I'll catch you all over the next couple of days. Good Friday evening, everybody. Uh, I've just one thing I want to show you this down here this evening before the fun commences over the weekend. Um, and let me show you what it now, is. You may remember I got some sage cuttings from the next door. Um, next door neighbour, Steve, uh, Stevie. Uh, all I did was snip the bottoms off and just place it into a cup of water. And just top that water over every, every now and then. Well, here's the results. As you can see, we've getting some roots off the bottom there, which is great. You can see there, some nice little roots on there. So all I'm going to do now is pot them up in them five pots there, and we'll see how these go on. Five sage plants. These are going to go with the rosemary that I've already got. So we've got a little bit of a herb garden going on. We'll have to see what uh, where I can put that in the future. But that's uh, that's me for this evening. Naked gardening day tomorrow. We'll see what happens with that tomorrow. Um, good luck to everybody else that's doing it as well. I've done it the past two years. Um, and uh, we'll see if it happens a third. But lots of things we're getting on with the weekend. Tidying up. Uh, plans to be made. 12 days off now. Let's get all these leaks and everything else sorted as well. Happy Saturday everybody and happy National Naked Gardening Day everybody as well. I hope you've all had fun taking your pictures and stuff like that, keeping yourself hidden. Um, I'm in the back garden at the minute in my 8 by 6 um, overlooked by many houses so that's not something I'm going to be doing here today. Uh, we are going to be heading down to Leslie's plot today um, to sort out her plot that I'm going to mind tomorrow. I've got a checklist of things to do from now until Wednesday. I'm going to get each one of them checked off and uh, like I say for this week We'll get Saturday and Sunday out of the way first. I'll show you what I'm doing in here first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start chitting some more seeds. So it's time to get them seeds chitted. Uh, it's now May, first first week of May. Um, I've already started doing the cucumbers, the long cucumbers, heavy cucumbers and stuff like that as well. Um, and the tomatoes, they're all in the propagator in the shed. And I'll show you them just before um, I head out today. Um, I'm going to get a few more things started off. Um, I'd rather have a need than need and not have basically and I'll show you what I'm going to get done. So I'm going to get long cucumber, small long cucumber sown. I'm going to get one, two, three, 
four different types of marrow started off as well. So I'll show you what they are and also I've got heavy cucumber as well, which I'm going to get started off into these takeaway tubs. Now in the takeaway tubs, what I've got is I've got a kitchen, piece of kitchen roll on the bottom and then I've got um, what's that? box of Nutella. <laughs> I've had these on the bench in the kitchen and the bench I've had Nutella for breakfast. <laughs> Um, so, uh, yeah, they're playing a prank on me. Um, so I've got a bit of piece on the top, piece on the bottom. I'll pop the seeds in, mark them off what they are, and then just leave them in a hot environment, a bottom heat, uh, in, the, in the sunshine in a, in a shelf somewhere so that they can germinate so I can see which ones are going to come through and which ones aren't. Now, the marrows that I've got, I've got this one, which is from um, Seb, uh, which was a Bags um, marrow from 2018. Uh, it was a mix between a 178 and a 165. Uh, pound so i'm going to set that one away that's one i should have grown last year um but i didn't because i didn't know what the numbers on the packets meant now i do so i'm pleased i got that one kept so that's one of them i'm also i've also got some uh, from last year when i went to malvin um vincent uh, who came third that was kind enough to provide me with some of his seed from the marrow itself as well and i've had them stored and dried and saved and i want to see what the germination is going to be like now so i'll pop a few of these in and see what it's going to be like i have sent some to nigel at muddy boots as well so he can have a play with and so hopefully there's good germination with them as well the uh, last two which i'm going to do is lee herriton's marrow i'm only going to put uh, one of these in um also like what each one of each marrow because i don't need six marrows um i know i said i wasn't going to do them but I've got a plan, and I'll tell you about that when I go down the garden as well. Uh, so I've got Lee Herriton's um, marrow as well, and I've also got some uh, giant marrows from the UK record at Mark Bags grew last year. The ones that you've seen at uh, at uh, Harriet, not Harriet, Malvin. Uh, it's absolutely ginormous. It was a hell of a spectacle, and uh, I've been able to get three seeds from that, um, and I'll be starting one of them off at this today as well and um, we'll see what happens with well obviously we'll see what happens with all of them and i'll select which ones i want to grow so the main thing is here marking so i know exactly which one's what i've got two tubs one's for the cucumbers and one's for the marrows and i'll mark the marrows up specifically as well all right that's done i put a little bit of water in as well you don't want to be over flooding it you just want to be making sure that the kitchen roll is damp you can also with the pumpkins and marrow seeds soak them in water for 20 minutes uh, which is what i did prior to making the video here um I would say prior to making it, I did it just before there, so when it comes back it's already in. So I've mopped the tops as well, uh, the pots, so I know exactly what they are and what way they are. And as you can see on the other side there, that's them sorted out there. So they're the cucumbers and these are all the marrows and I've chucked the loofah seed that I found in there as well. And as you can see underneath there, fantastic. So I'm going to pop these into the propagator, into the shed, let me take it in the shed and show you what's growing in there at the minute in the propagator. So that's them in. Excuse the can, that was from the other night. <laughs> Got my lazy, I'm forgetting to take that through. Um, so that's them two into the, the heat mat at the bottom here. What I've got here is I've gotten six common cucumbers. These are for eating, of course. Lovely strong growth. I've gotten 100% germination in them as well. Got them from DT Browns. Um, so I've got six, I was supposed to have five, I've got six, uh, which is great. That's them up, and these are some of the ones that I sold before there. So Andy Dawson's Long Cucumber, which is exactly the same as what I've just put in here. Uh, some extra ones. I put two in, I've gotten one germinated. So 50% germination direct into the soil, uh, the, the compost, should I say. Um, and here I've also got from the EVGVA pack, um, the Heavy Cucumber, which I've gotten a 50-50 germination on as well. So I've got, a I've got a plant at the end of the day as well. So one before and one after. Um, I've got actually got uh, in here a heavy, heavy uh, pepper, which is starting to come up, which I'm pleased about. Um, so that's good. Nothing else has come up yet, which is a shame. Um, the heavy tomatoes there, as you can see, getting some uh, some movement on them. So the big Zach from Lee Everton's coming up. Um, the what's that one? The Chris Evans tomatoes coming up as well. Uh, the big Zach, big Zach uh, from Caracas uh, is coming through. Apologies if I've pronounced that incorrectly. Um, this one, no sign as of yet, but I'm sure it will come up in due course. So that's what's happening in there at the minute. That's uh, starting off, starting off. Uh, some more things, and that's that done. Once again, these uh, chilies and everything, I'm loving it under this uh, spider farm light. The, uh, the cut, look, look like they're made from wax. It's great. Strong growth since I put them on as well. Same with the, the peat root at the back. What a difference I've seen these come through as well. Tell they're different varieties. 
Uh, these are different varieties to what them ones are. You see the difference straight away. I'm going to get these potted up this week as well. One last thing I'll show you is, is that's just this pumpkin. So this is one of the one and only pumpkin that I'll be able to get up, and it's absolutely flying away there. It's ready for it to be potted up again. This one is from the 1997.4 Boonham Herman from 2019. So it is a very big one. I know a lot of people are growing these, but uh, it's a good good start with that. And we we'll actually pop that under there. I need to pop that into a bigger pot and pot it up basically. Check out these tomatoes. Now, my granite Dave is the demand for tomatoes, definitely. Um, I've been selling these tomatoes uh, safely, of course. Um, kind, of, kind of get a better plan for a pound. Absolutely phenomenal. Grow a tomato like that in a pot like that. It's just absolutely great. A um, lot of interest, which has been fantastic. And I've kept myself some as well. Um, so, hey, fantastic. I'm looking forward to getting them tomatoes, giant tomatoes down the granddad's garden because uh, he'll, be, he'll be going in his to get everything started off because he's the man for tomatoes. Right, time to head down to Leslie's garden and do a bit of garden her garden today then uh, I'll be down mine tomorrow uh, and I'll tell you all about the plans for the pumpkin and the marrow now as well. I couldn't help myself, I couldn't resist it. It's a year which um, I could learn a lesson from again so that's the reason why i've started it i found a spot for the pumpkin which i'm going to get dug over and turn over next week um and the marrow bed is going to be the marrow bed so we'll see what happens see how things turn out but i'm optimistic right well we're down on leslie's little allotment here um we're going to get on with a, little, a few tasks to get sorted out um clear some of the beds off tidy up a little bit i've already fixed this gate here that's leading in from uh, our next door neighbor's block here so that, that fence there, it wasn't opening up all of the way. Now it does, and I've started the fence as well. So we're gonna get a wheelbarrow in and out, not a problem. So let's get started, let's get sorted. We wanna do a bit of digging, a bit of tidying up and getting rid of some of the grass out of the beds. This is where she's at at the minute. She's had this garden for a year now. She's basically got the raspberry canes at the back there, which all needed to be chopped back, which is exactly what she's done. So they're a nice height for her as well. Um, she's got a few um, lavender plants and stuff in here from mine from last year, which uh, there they are there and they're actually coming up. Um, it's just like you say, a bit of tidying up work needs to be done. That's already been dug over. Still got some lovely daffodils popped up here as well. She's got this long big bed sorted for her roses when she gets them sorted out. We're busy growing at home at the minute. Um, she's got an apple tree which I found on one of the top uh, top allotments um, that was up, uh, neglected. Planted this last year and it's starting to bud, which is a good sign. Um, we've got some more raspberry canes here as well. In these beds here, she's planted some carrots, which you can see, but also not only carrots is coming up, but weeds as well. Not only just weeds, but bindweed, nightmare stuffish. So we'll have to be careful digging them out. So she's got a couple of rows of carrots in there. Um, we'll have to see. In here she's got some spring onions. Same thing again, and bindweed and some couch grass. Just nightmare stuff again. That's all what this is. It's an absolute, it's a nightmare. I'm going to try and dig it all out today. With a couple of roses here as well, which has already got planted in. They're starting to show a bit of bud, which is nice. They're actually, they're actually growing, Leslie. They're not dead. So, oh, there's Leslie there, man. So they're growing there. Um, there's still a lot of stuff to get back on top of. We're getting there slowly. It's been coming down doing it little and often. Um, we just dug this over the other day. Like I said, the soil's a nightmare. You need to build the beds up and put soil on the top. Um, she's got some, some flowers in here, which has been able to sort out. Uh, beds have been sorted. More flower beds in here and stuff as well. Uh, one of the things that she has done, is she's painted our shed. She's getting a summer house shed sorted out. It's all nicely painted and it's all waterproof and the kids are sitting in there playing on the tablets. Uh, we've been quiet. She's also got this uh, bird feature which she got for free off a friend and she's painted it up lovely. And she's done all of this patio area section herself as well, which is an absolutely fantastic job. Um, one of Leslie's lilies is coming up here as well. That's good. Two Leslie's lilies coming up. Hi kids. Hi, I want someone else to take them. Right, no bother then. And she's over the moon with these, aren't you Leslie? I am. What you got in here? Red onion and garlic. Is that normal garlic? Yeah. Is that the garlic I give you? Yeah. 
That's, well, not the elephant flower. That's the white crystal that I give to Leslie because I'm not growing it on my garden for one specific reason. Let's see if there's any here yet. It doesn't look like there is. So it's low that you'll not get it. Look for rust. But uh, they're growing canny. So we'll keep the, just keep the stock going on. The red onions are doing well as well, which is nice to see. Right, well, I suppose we're not going to get enough done standing here attacking now, so we'll best get this sorted and tidy. Yeah, I nearly forgot before we make a start after. I was going to show you this section as well, Elizabeth's favourite section here. What section is this, Elizabeth? Tell us more fairy about it. Garden. It's your fairy garden, is it? And there's a little surprise inside the house. What's inside the house? A fairy. There's a fairy inside the house, is there? Oh, there is, I. <laughs> <laughs> What's up behind you? This is a bug hotel for the bugs. That's a bug hotel for the bugs. What are the flowers they got in here and things? We've got these white flowers. They're pansies. Oh, not a viola, sorry. Not pansies. We've also got some bushes there as well, some heather, which is nice. We've Some sticks and twigs and a strawberry patch there. And whenever this bell rings, that means a fairy's there. Oh, there you go. So you learn something new every day, don't you? There's a water feature there, which does work, but doesn't at the minute. Unless he's got some uh, some lights on, it looks lovely this on the night time. But good job. Hey, this is a bit of little fairy garden. Well, believe it or not, there's actually a bed around there. I'm going to take this grass out and get a dog over. Any tip for you is if you're going to be um, making pathways and using wood chip like we're doing here just for cost effectiveness and um, the best of the put down is the black plastic black plastic is the better stuff to put down because if you put the feet weed weed fabric like this and then if you leave it what's happened here is over the course of time this used to be a lovely neat tidy garden but over the course of time the wood chip has rotted down and because it was still dormant for a couple of years it's just like Velcro, it's just stuck to the, to the base of it and it's a nightmare to pull up. So yeah, it's great over the top, but as soon as the roots get into it, it's a nightmare. Whereas the black plastic is easy because you just scoop it up at the side and you just roll it up like a bit of carpet. So personally, I'd go for the black plastic. But yeah, that's, um, that's this bed sorted and covered for the time being. Uh, this bread's been dug over, just need to go through it of course, and the round the edges are sorted out as well, so I'm going to get that bit a little bit sorted there, cut a little section across there, from there, across there, and just do that bit. But yeah, hey, you've got me knackered, let's see what you've been doing in that shed anyways. This T-shed, what she's done is she originally painted that side white, obviously it lets more light in here. Um, and she's just this second done the back section as well so she's just waiting for that to dry with some spare white paint that she had and then from there she'll get this side done and then what will happen is this is lovely and white lovely and shiny and i might even mention that just to paint the seedling as well might as well that's more light and it bounces the light off even more uh yes yeah hey oh good job Thank you. hey oh leslie yeah. are you joining in, joining in yeah. a naked garden day Right, we'll see. <laughs> I quickly popped down to my garden just before there because I needed to pick some more tomatoes up for somebody. Um, and I'll show you my efforts for today. So happy knitted garden to everybody. Well, hopefully I haven't given you all nightmares. <laughs> but yeah, it'll be better next year. Um, that's three years of the trot I've done it. I don't mind, it's all a bit of fun. Um, but yeah, 
I hope nobody got stung <laughs> by the nettles today and uh, we're going to get cracked on here as well. Well, after a quick tidy up, that's that sorted. So this week I've managed to get two beds to go over for her and the grass taken out, you see how bad it was. Uh, so that's this section done here, that section done there and also the paths down here, across there and across there. Now I see I kind of take all the credit because it is Leslie as well that's been doing it. Um, so I'm pleased with the way that's turned out. Nice and sorted and tidy, I've just weed clad down the path sections so stop all the stuff coming from uh, underneath um, and then we'll uh, get the rest sorted so like to say little and often still got that bed to sort out and just going to put a polytunnel on that section as well so it's coming along together canny time for a brew Leslie morning happy sunday morning my little elizabeth is down the plot this morning um i've got my list of things to do and it's involving this tunnel so what we're going to do is we're going to get this side sorted out we're going to get a dug over then we're going to get the leaks uh, the black and white plastic on just like we did on this side i added on this side and then i want to get all the leaks out ready to go down the back and also um like i say might stop yeah i'm going to sort this area out i'm going to give it a dig over and everything as well so um very busy day ahead am we yeah. Yep, I'm getting a couple of flowers and I'm getting some tomatoes from Granddad Dave's as well, which I'll show you in a bit. But let's get sorted out. Right, go on, as we take the stand in there and we'll put the camera up. So what we're going to do, I'll show you here the tomatoes I've getting. So I'll give these to Granddad Dave to keep a hold of, so to keep them warm and uh, get them grown. I've got sun gold tomatoes here, which are a cracking, uh, they're, they're a cracking plant. I've never grown them before, so I'm looking forward to getting them in. Um, and I've got the Shirley's here as well. So. All I'm putting in is Shirley, Sun Gold and Roma. That's all I'm putting in. So um, I've got the space down at the bottom of the allotment there, the, right at the bottom greenhouse. So I'll pop these um, into the big buckets. Uh, I'll put some of them in the big buckets and some of them into the ground. But we'll do that later on. How can is this? One of Leslie's allotment neighbours, Steve, Delia Steve. You've all seen his garden from previous videos. Um, you caught me when I was heading back out um, from Leslie's allotment yesterday. And he asked us if I wanted any geraniums. Which, because he had too many, which is, I mean, fantastic. Thank you very much, Steve, for those. Um, I'm getting a bunch of, uh, six, what is, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 11 red geraniums and two of these, um, the bullseye salmon ones. So I'll keep these, I'll pop these into pots um, and grow them on so I can get cuttings to see if I can get some more. There's only two of them. These, um, I'm going to half them with Leslie uh, and we'll get them potted out. Well, after digging that section over, there was a, something that caught my eye straight away. It looks like a little Christmas tree. Um, no, it's not asparagus. It's a uh, railway jack. So, uh, this is enemy. It comes from um, old railways. It's a nightmare. You can't rotivate it. You can't just pull it because the root snaps. And also, you need it. You can't weed clear it either because it's got a, a waxy. Um, outside of it on as well so um it's an absolute nightmare for a lot of gardeners um horse tail um railway jack it's a nightmare um you've got no idea the pleasure it was just pulling that up it's the only one that i've seen in the bed and i dug underneath it and it lifted up straight away and obviously you can see there that's because this has grown from a piece that has come in from somewhere and it's been put on top and it just goes to show even a bit like that it grows from so even if you chop that little bit off and that bit falls onto the comb on the, on the ground that's going to grow into this then it'll set its spores and it'll continue to grow and next thing you know you're overwhelmed by it the only thing i've been able to do at the moment was pull this pull it out 
keep on digging it out and I've got the same problem down the marrow bed as well. Like I say, pulling that out without no bottom of it, knowing that it's not in this bed, what a joy that was. Now that's going to get burned, it's going to be left in the sunshine to die off on the pavement and then it's not going to cause any harm to anything else. Well, that's a good job done, that. Yeah. High five. What was that? High five! There we go, well done. <laughs> um, so that's that side sorted now as well. So what I'm going to do is get the leaks from that side that have been hardened off of the back side of things. Um, the back side thing. At the back of the trench, I'm going to put the 10 that I've got ready to go on top of these holes. Then when I come down through the week, once I've done all my tasks, I'll plant them out. Um, I think I've got a set day for that because let's say I've got a good list but let's say that's a good job done Elizabeth let's have a look and see what other stuff we've got to do I think the other polytunnel we need to get this, the soil into there as well so day's not over but good half of it's done that's them leaks just placed it, put it into place for the time being um, I seem to have lost one which was a shame so basically in total I'm, uh, I'm three leaks short at the back of which I will do a bit of asking around. If not, I've got some leaks in the greenhouse which I can fill in the space for. Um, another thing that we've done here is at the back of the greenhouse, I've put on that mesh. And like I say, there's all temporary cover and they're temporary in any case. But uh, I learned the big lesson. Uh, when I had the door put up there, over the course of the day, the sun was coming over and it was actually casting a shadow on this bed here. That's the reason as to why some of the cabbages at the back side here were smaller than the ones that were in the middle at the back. So lesson learned from that straight away. Um, just put some mesh on just to let some air flow through as well. So that's a good job. Got to do a few more things, move some things out of the way. But thank you very much for your help, Elizabeth. You've done a fantastic job, darling. <laughs> okay, that's them leaks in here to harden off as well. These won't be going into here. They will be going, these are the Betty Black leaks. These are going into the other polytunnel, but they'll stay in here for the next few days until uh, I get the middle polytunnel sorted, the new polytunnel sorted out. Um, so that's them um, sorted. Right, I'm going to take you next door and I'll tell you what the plan is for um, pumpkin bed. Now, this section here hasn't been used in years. Underneath are just beds, just like at the top section up there. What the plan is, I'm going to take all this cover off and then I'm going to dig each bed over and then once I've dug the beds over I'm just going to spread the soil all over and keep it flat on top of the, the slabs and everything and I'm going to use this as a marrow bed, uh, no, the pumpkin bed don't know what the soil's like, don't know what, it, what it'll react with but um, I'll give it a good feed underneath and uh, we'll see what happens so the plan is this is going to be the, this is going to be the pumpkin side because it's an unused area until I get the polytunnels on them. The only downside with keeping it under off the cover off them, I'm gonna have to keep on top of the weeding because this stuff is an absolute bloody nightmare. There's loads of dahlias in here from last year which I didn't dig up. And as you can see, it's easy to pull up, but I'll just have to um, keep on top of it basically. But that's the plan, anyways. Just quickly show you here Elizabeth's um, strawberry patch and she tidied it up. You can see all the new growth coming through from the strawberries. We should get some nice strawberries off these this year. I'm hoping so, and so is she. Well, that's it for another week, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks everybody for your comments and all your messages through the week as well. Lots of things done this week. Um, it's been a blast yesterday down in Leslie's garden, and it was a bit good laugh yesterday with uh, the naked garden. And actually, I hope I'm scored his all for life. <laughs> This one hasn't seen anything like. <laughs> so um, yeah, everybody, thank you very much for watching. There's been lots of work done, um, to, lots of work to come next week. Um, 
which the other tunnel needs sorting out. I'm fall behind with that. Um, the tunnel, they say the leaks are all out, so we'll be getting the leaks planted next week. Busy, busy week next week. We're tidying up as well. So everybody, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll see your comments. And also give this video a thumbs up. Thumbs up, and uh, I'm gonna go. On, I've started putting a little video together to show you how you can do that, how you can subscribe and hit the bell and things for those that don't know, and it'll follow the end of this video as well. So take care, stay safe. Watch what you're doing and uh, happy gardening. Bye. Bye. So search for Dean's Lost the Plot on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button. Then next to the subscribe button, you hit the bell. Then click all that is at the top. And then you'll be notified upon every video that I upload. Mm -hmm.